me machucó no. bien tú no eres de la capítulo 3 versículo 17 aunque la higuera no eche brotes ni haya fruto en las viñas aunque falte el producto del último y los campos no produzcan alimento aunque falten las ovejas del aprisco y no haya vacos en, vacas en los establos con todo yo me alegraré en el Señor Ale. me regociaré en el Dios de mi salvación el Señor Dios es mi fortaleza Él ha hecho mis Our students you know you see our kids all dressed up you see them with nice clothes on nice shoes on this is what they look like uh, before they come to the school take a look at this What I want you to understand, I want you to know, is there's 12 people living in this home. There's the mother, there's the father, and there's their 10 kids. There's a reason why God brought us here. There's a reason why God is showing you this. It's not just to shed a tear. It's not just to feel sorry. Feeling sorry isn't going to help anybody, friend. I need you praying. Please join with us in prayer. Partner with us in prayer. I need you, please, to consider donating. Help us to help them. See, there's 12 people in this tiny little shack. And if you could stand here with us and you could smell what it smells like and see what it looks like, Smell the burning crops in the back and all the, uh, uh, see all the bugs all over and see the different things and see these kids it really up close and personal. Uh, you don't understand. This is suffering. This is poverty. Thank Jesus that this woman and her husband and these kids have given their lives to Christ and they now attend our church. A 45 minute walk away over dirt roads and, 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 and hard stones. Thank God. But friends, it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for people just like you giving us donations and helping us to run our school and to run that church. So we're asking you, please continue to give. Please step up the giving. If you haven't given before, now's the time. Look around you. Look at this house. The need is greater than ever. You see my hand, it can literally go straight through the roof. I mean, I'm literally touching the air right now. It's just totally wide open. And, and if you just understand for a minute, this is standard conditions here. There's even poor people here. But unfortunately, they don't want us recording in their house. Thank God this sister, who's a sister in Christ, was willing to allow us to come in and show you how they live. This is an embarrassment for them, friend. And it should be embarrassment for us that we don't give more. So please, help us. Step up the giving. And let's go together, hand in hand, as it says in the Word of God. Let's be the body of Christ. You be the hands, we'll be the feet. Let's give together and let's make changes in Peru for the glory of Jesus Christ.